Hey, hello everyone, I'm David Guerrero and welcome back to another video here on Many Ways Films. I want to talk about a question that someone made me. Which camera should I buy? A Nikon C6, a Nikon C6 II, or a C7? He specially talked about these cameras because he has a DSLR camera he especially has the 5600 and he's wanting to transition to the mirrorless world there are other cameras these are just the ones that he asked me i want to be a little bit more detailed so i'm right here on my computer and i'm gonna tell you some of the options for the mirrorless cameras there are right now or what options there are for the mirrorless cameras so i'm gonna start with the lowest prices the nikon c50 has a crop sensor meaning it's not a full frame sensor we or nikon calls it a dx uh, crop it has 20.9 megapixels it has uh, not the latest sensor but it has the same sensor that the nikon c6 has and the nikon c7 which is the xp6 processor this camera was um meant to be for people that like to blog and stuff like that and see themselves while they're recording so the screen comes down and you can see yourself like you will be able to see yourself if you're holding the camera and the screen will be just down here it can record in 4k uh, 30 and 24 frames per second and it can also do 120 frames per second in uh, 1080 which uh, for the price, it's uh, $860. It's not, it's not bad, it's actually a pretty good price. And the only reason that it has this price, in my opinion, compared to the C6, is because it has a crop sensor. So if you don't mind that crop sensor and you're just transi transitioning to mirrorless, I think this is the best option right now for the price there is especially if you're not doing any work and it's just for fun and traveling i would totally totally get this camera then there's other cameras like the z the zfc and the c5 which have a higher price and they can do very similar things the c5 it's a full frame camera it also has a flip out screen just like the D5600 does. It is a crop sensor. So I think that this camera is the most, like if we're looking at a Nikon DSLR, this will be the D5600 equivalent. It has a higher price, but I think that just for the style of the body and uh, there's not really a difference on megapixels between the C50 and the fc and the features of this camera i i i would still go for the c50 if i was gonna get a, a dx crop sensor then you have the c5 <laughs> which it's a, a very similar price than a c6 while it's a full frame camera i don't see any advantages between the uh to having a c5 to a c6 that's probably why it's cheaper than the c6 there's there's really not much difference between the c5 and the c6 i would just personally get the c6 because it's not so much of a price difference and i think it's just uh, an overall superior camera the c6 i don't know i i wouldn't consider the c5 if i'm honest and then you have uh, cameras that are $2,1600 price range. Again, from the C6 and the C6 II, there's uh, around $400 difference, which, I mean, it is significant, but if you're already wanting to get a uh, mirrorless camera and uh, you know that you're gonna have this camera for a long time, if you're thinking to have it for a long, long time and for me a long time is three to five years i would just get the c6 too but if if you are not doing anything professional you're not taking seriously you just want to have a mirrorless camera you want to have a really nice viewfinder really high quality pictures high quality video 
just get the C6. I'm just talking on my opinion because I really like the 4K 60 frames per second and um, the autofocus from the C6 II. I think it's a little bit, it, well, in fact, I think it's, I don't think it's significantly better, especially not a 400 price difference, but still better than the C6. So if you're thinking of having this camera for, for a long time and you're gonna take it a little bit more serious, the C6 II, but if you're not gonna take it really serious, I would just get the C6. Now, if you wanna get the highest picture quality, I would recommend to go between the C7 and the C7 II, just because they're definitely a lot more affordable than a C9, and I think a C9 it's just meant to the professional people, uh, people that are getting paid good or, or they're getting paid monthly doing work with their camera. So the C9, uh, I would put it out of the picture for anyone who is not working constantly with that camera. So the C7 and C7 II, I still think that while they are professional cameras, they are still cameras that someone that it just wants to have really good high quality pictures or eventually does uh, wedding pictures or eventually gets paid or just wants to have really high quality pictures and doesn't really care too much about video while well, still wants to have that option and have a nice video you would go between the c7 II and the c7 it's the same story between the c6 II and the c6 there's not a significant difference especially knowing that there is about a 400 price difference i would tell you the same thing if you're not gonna take it too serious just go for the c7 but if you're wanting to get uh the best uh, autofocus that there is on nikon under um, $3,000, I would get the C7 too. And then there's the C9, which again, it's the best that Nikon has to offer today on 2022. And I think it's an amazing camera. I would 100% have a C9 over any Canon or Sony camera. And if you want my final opinion, if you're just going to transition from DSLR to mirrorless, I think that the best option today would be the C6 II or the C6. Those will be my recommendations. And either camera you choose, I uh, love the results that I get. I'm really happy with the image quality from picture and video. And I don't think the autofocus is uh, as bad as people say. It's not as good as the competition, but definitely C6 II, better autofocus than the C6. You have a few more options in that uh, system. And I would totally recommend either one, of, either one of them. It's up to you at the end. I think that's pretty obvious, but if you let me choose for you, get the c6 too <laughs> but that's just my opinion uh, this is the boring part where i tell you to subscribe that would really help me and this channel to grow thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next video see ya